Good morning, my name is Ray, I'm with Team Steam, and this morning I'm standing out in front of Flash Industrial Painting, just getting ready to pull in this 2014 International Eagle to put some color on it. All right, so we got this guy pulled inside. We're gonna go ahead and first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get everything masked up from the roof cap down, and from the roof cap above the cab as well, down. And then we're going to pull these mirrors off the fenders and then segregate off the fenders before we start prepping anything. So we're just getting some plastic on back here. That's where we'll start. We'll throw a board across there so we can still continue to walk across the chassis without accidentally stepping between the rails. And then we'll start masking on some of this stuff. And the exhaust is kind of in the way on this one, but if we take the exhaust cover off, that should be good enough. Everything else is far enough back. The exhaust cover is a little bit intrusive, so we'll take it off and we'll see how it looks then. All right, we're getting further and further along, getting plastic strung out. And now one of the first things I'm gonna do here next is I'm going to go ahead and segregate off this fender so we can mask off the rest of the hood. All right, I went ahead and turned the boys loose. They have finished up all the masking and that's all I needed them to do for the day. It's, it's the weekend and it's a blizzard outside, so I just turned them loose. Now I'm gonna spend the rest of my day in here uh, doing the fiberglass work. I'm gonna go ahead and grind these holes out and inlay some fiberglass on the outside. And then I'm going to fix what few stars there is in the fenders. And then I'm going to use a DA sander and sand as much as I can on the fenders and on the roof cap. And so if you've watched very many of my videos, you might be wondering by now, do those boys even make any money? I mean, I turn them loose all the time, sometimes for days at a time. Um, and, and, and a lot of times I'll finish up a lot of these projects myself. Uh, once in a while, you'll see me finish one up entirely, put it all back together myself. You'll see me like on, on today, I'm gonna be doing all this sanding myself. It, that's not so I can save money on wages. They get paid the same on every truck, no matter how much they do or don't do. They get, they get paid by the truck, not by the hour, and they get paid in advance. The minute the truck shows up on the property, they get paid for it. And if it turns out that they're not even gonna be here when the truck is being put back together, cause they visit relatives down South uh, about once a month. And if it turns out that, that they're gonna be gone during the time period when the truck is being put together, as you've seen in some of my videos, I'll do it myself and they get paid the same. If they're sick and gone for four five, six days in a row, they get paid the same. They get paid per truck and I don't get picky about the details of that. So if, as long as, they're honest and here and doing an honest day's work, which we've never had a problem with. There's a lot of trust that goes on in this shop. They always get paid and they get paid in advance and they get paid by the truck. After all, this line of work can be very grueling. I mean, auto body itself is very grueling, but then you add the fact that there's so many rivets to scratch and deal with. And there's so many instances where you're tacked to the side of a ladder like a billy goat all day long. There's, Truck auto body, and I've done both. I've done both extensively. I've done domestic auto body and truck auto body extensively. And I can tell you truck auto body, you got to know a lot more. It's a lot more physically demanding. It's a lot more difficult and you got to know a lot more. And so I, I want to take it easy on the boys. I don't want to burn them out. I don't want them hating their job. So they get their share of time off and, and I do some of the crappiest facets of some of these jobs myself. And I, don't have them in on it just so they don't have to have the terrible experience just so they don't have to wake up in the morning and roll their eyes and, and hate their job knowing they got to come to work so that's part of why i do what i do and the other part is because if i want a certain amount of things done by the end of the day i'm not afraid to get in there and do it myself and so if anybody's ever been curious about that and you watch these videos as to whether or not these boys ever make any money they're paid well and the worst parts of every one of these jobs are the parts that i take care of and speaking of which, I've got an afternoon of fiberglass repair and sanding ahead of me, so I might as well get to it. Okay, and here I've got all four holes, the two on the other side and these two here, all ground out. There's actually two holes right there. Somebody must have made a mistake and mounted that uh, mirror mount out too far and then changed their mind and did another hole to the inside. But the, the two locations here and the two locations on the other fender are now all ground out and ready for inlay. I'm going to be putting some fiberglass matting in there in just a second. And here they are after just having been repaired. The inlay is in place on all four of them. Now I'll just wait for them to cure while I'm busy sanding on the roof cap up there. Okay, well, here's what's going on outside right now. Been doing this for two days. And here's what's going on inside. 
I've got the uh, entire roof cap sanded, not scratched yet, but sanded with the DA. And now I'm getting ready to uh, begin sanding on these fenders. Okay, and here I've got my bodywork all finished. I've got it glazed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this in primer so these things don't show up in the gloss. I'll get them in wet sanding primer and then tomorrow I'll sand them. Well, all right, here I am on top of this ladder. This is the top of the uh, sleeper cap. And uh, as you can see, there's absolutely no shiny spots. There's no shiny spots anywhere on the things we intend to paint today. And so now I'll be mixing up some gray epoxy primer and I'll spray that on the fenders and the roof caps. Then I'll let that sit for at least an hour and then I'll come through, tack it all off again and go ahead and get it shot. It's been primed. We've given it plenty of time to go ahead and cure out. Now we're going to go ahead and get some blue paint on this guy. it's the next morning now and the first thing I'm gonna do is unmask these fenders so we know if everything went well and you'd think it would because this is a 2014 it's got the original what looks like all the original paint on it but you just never know when you go peeling up that uh, vinyl tape sometimes that vinyl tape is really stuck and sometimes the paint underneath it isn't so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and unmask these fenders and then uh, then we'll take it from there Right, so as you can see we unmasked the initial tape that was stuck to it nothing else here is really stuck to it at all this was all stuck to the tape and the tape was stuck to the paint job and as you can see it all came up just fine on both sides so now the boys are gonna be in here any minute and we're gonna go ahead and finish unmasking this guy and getting it all put back together back together let's go ahead and walk around it and have a look all right this is a 2014 international eagle when it showed up it had a basically perfect uh factory paint job on it and by perfect i mean this is the factory paint job but we actually found a few dirt specks and other things in it because even factory paint jobs aren't perfect went ahead and sanded and scratched the roof painted it Got rid of the uh, two holes that were in the fenders that held up the 
mirror brackets. As you can see, there's absolutely no evidence that those ever existed. Fiberglassed them shut, did all the body work. The third hole, it's always right here. Rather than pay me to paint the entire hood and then try and match this paint as well, and whites are tougher to match than you think, um, they said just plug it with some sort of plug or something like that. And rather than put a chrome plug in it, I just put a reflector in it, a uh, amber reflector. It doesn't look terribly out of place and it'll work just fine. If they don't care for it, they can put their unit number over it. Or I mean, there's a number of options that they can do right there without having to repaint the entire hood. The back of the sleeper cap turned out nice. Nice and shiny. The roof turned out nice. It's got good shine on it. Looks like the rest of the trucks in this fleet. I have painted 30, 40 trucks, maybe more for these guys over the years and at least that many trailers over the last decade, uh, last uh, few decades. I've worked for them for almost 25 years. And they have a lot of trucks and uh, they all look like this. They're not all International Eagles, only three or four of them are. They have Pete's, Kenworth, they have everything. I've even painted a few Macs for them. As you can see, again, no evidence whatsoever that I uh, plug those holes. You can see we got up under the visor, got all the details. All turned out nice. And up next, I've got uh, my choice of a few things to do. I've got a 2007 Kenworth W900 sitting out in the yards. And here in the next day or so, I've got the first of a few trucks showing up out of uh, Colorado that haul utility poles for a living. So the bed of the truck itself and the dolly style trailer for the, the uh, truck all need sandblasted and painted black. And this is the first of a few we'll do for them. So no shortage of things to do around here. Hey, if you like this video, you should hit the like button. That's going to help me grow my channel. And if you want to see more of what goes on around here, you should check me out on Facebook at Flash Industrial Painting. And if you want to see more videos like this or domestic auto body or art or gardening or any of the many things we do around here, you might as well just hit the subscribe button because, you know, we always got something going on. We'll see you guys around.